Hello everyone, welcome back to Miniature Mayhem. In today's tutorial I have a simple method that anyone can follow for painting Votan magma blades. If you'd like to follow along with today's tutorial, here's a list of the paints you'll need. The first thing we're going to do is apply a solid base coat of black primer. The next step is to apply several watered down layers of white paint. Achieving a smooth white base coat took around three layers. Don't worry if it's not completely opaque as we're going to cover this in future with other colors. Now to start building up the brimstone colours in our fiery blade, I'm applying a base coat of Uriel Yellow mixed with Lamian Medium. Drag the paint up towards the tip of the blade where you want the colour to be more saturated. I used roughly a 2 to 1 mix of Lamian Medium to Uriel Yellow. This is not super important, the smoother you want the transition the more Lamian Medium you can add. After a few layers you start to get a nice vibrant colour towards the tip of the blade. For the next layer we're using a mix of Troll Slayer Orange and Lamian Medium. This time we're focusing the paint on the top half of the blade, again pulling the pigment towards the tip. After a few layers you'll start to build up a really nice transition. Towards the lower third of the blade, I've just added some more stipples of orange to start building up the effect. Don't forget to glaze the orange onto the edges of the blade. Again using Lamian Medium, the next step is the glaze of Evil Sun Scarlet. This time, stippled onto the edges of the blade and dragged up towards the very tip. The idea is to try and create a haphazard natural pattern. With the first layer complete, we're going to add a second layer of Evil Suns, this time without medium. Again focusing on the edges and toward the upper half of the blade, we're just going to stipple this on. With that layer complete, we have a nice chaotic pattern to work with. Now to start pulling the effect together, we're going to use black paint. Personally I like to use a bad and black, but any black will do. Take your time using your best brush and gently stipple the black paint onto the edges. Using the tip of the brush you can create some random patterns where you think the black would look cool. There's no right or wrong here, a blade like this takes about 10 minutes to paint, so just have a go. If you're not happy with how it looks you can always start again. With the black now complete, the final steps is to add white in a couple of different ways. First we're going to create some little spots of white heat. Then adding some Lamian medium to the white, you can wash that into the lower recesses of the blade to create the hottest point. With that final stage, the Maga blade is now complete. All you need to do is tidy up the edges, paint the rest of the model how you like it, and away you go. Thank you so much for watching, if you did find this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing. Leave me a comment down below for what you'd like to see me paint next. Catch you in the next video, goodbye.